Hello everyone and welcome to another very interesting chess game of Paul Morphy and in this chess game Paul Morphy is playing with the black pieces and as you can see Paul Morphy surrendered his f-pawn and his opponent is Francis Charles Deving and Francis Deving was a wealthy, rich, chocolate entrepreneur and he is playing with the white pieces and before starting to the chess game, I want to show you this very famous picture illustrating the famous chess game between Santa Mont and our Stanton. And you may wonder why I'm showing this picture and you may ask yourself, what's it got to do with it, with the Paul Morphy's chess game right now? Well, in this picture, Paul Morphy's opponent, Francis Charles Devick, is out there watching the chess game. He is one of the spectators of this very famous chess match between Stanton and Santa Mount. He was one of the chess experts who is watching the chess game. But more importantly, more interestingly, Francis Charles Deving was the last surviving spectator of this very famous chess match. So he is out there watching this match. So probably he is not one of those old people who is watching the game. So he must be a young person in this picture, like this guy, or maybe this guy. He was the last surviving spectator of this match. An interesting anecdote about Francis Charles Deving. And another very interesting information about this player, according to the some resources, he once said to have ranked Deschamps higher than Paul Morphy. And who was Deschamps? Well, he was one of the toughest and strongest chess masters in the history of chess. And he lived in the era between Philidor and Le Bourdonnais. And also, if I'm not guessing wrong, he was the teacher of Le Bourdonnais. So he was a strong chess master. But it's almost impossible to compare the Deschamps with Paul Morphy. So Paul Morphy was too strong for his time. And he was also a very strong chess player for our time also. Paul Morphy was something above for his time. And interestingly, Francis Charles Deving claimed that the Deschamps was stronger than Paul Morphy. So this shows Deving was underestimating Paul Morphy and another very interesting anecdote. And let's get back to the chess game between Paul Morphy and Francis Charles Deving. So Francis Deving starts the game with playing e4. Paul Morphy played d6, d4, knight to f6, bishop to d3, e5, d takes on e5, d takes on e5. Bishop to g5, pinning the knight, bishop to c5, knight to f3, h6, bishop to h4, bishop to g4, pinning the knight. And after this move, Francis Deving castled. Paul Morphy is developing the knight, knight from b to d7, knight from b to d2, g5, attacking the bishop, bishop to g3, h5. Queen to e1, queen to e7. If h4, then bishop takes on e5, bishop takes on f3, knight takes, knight takes on e5, knight takes on e5. And white is doing a good job. So Paul Morphy played queen to e7, h4, knight to h7, c3. And also Paul Morphy castled in the queen side b4, bishop to b6, a4, a6, queen to b1, rook from h to f8, a5, bishop to a7, b5, bishop takes on f3, knight takes on f3, and Paul Morphy played a very aggressive move. Well, he played rook takes on f3, sacrificing the exchange, g takes on f3, and then pawn takes pawn on h4 attacking the bishop, and Francis 
David played. B6, C takes on B6, A takes on B6, Bishop takes on B6. And David, confused in this position, and he played Rook takes on A6, a meaningless move. And Paul Morphy captures the rook, b takes on e6. Maybe Deving wants to prolong the game. If saving the bishop, bishop to h2, then knight to g5, f4, e takes on f4, king to h1, knight to f3, bishop to e2, knight takes on h2, king takes on h2, f3. If bishop takes on f3, then here comes bishop to c7, check king to h1, and then queen to e5. And white is losing, and this was just only possible continuation, and white is losing in many variations according to the chess engine after saving the bishop. So white is losing, and Deving played, rook takes on a6, pawn takes rook, and then bishop takes on a6, but Paul Morphy is simply defending the king, king to c7, and now what? Deving played, queen to b5. And then Paul Morphy simply captures the bishop, h takes on g3. And this is too much for white. Materially, white is getting crushed. So Paul Morphy has two extra pieces. And after this move, Francis, Charles, Deving resigned. And instead of queen to b5, if bishop to h2, then knight to g5 again, f4, knight to h3, king to h1 queen to g7 and this is again losing for white but after queen to b5 white is losing immediately so paul morphy simply captures the bishop h takes on g3 and deving resigned and this is the last position of the game and after all deving was not a professional chess player he was only a chocolate entrepreneur and he was a very rich man very wealthy man and he tried his best, but eventually he lost the game at move 25. So he's no match with Paul Morphy, of course, but he tried his best chances. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.